Whatever I got in front of me right now, it's a pretty generically labeled product. It just says battery switch. Uh, and I got this because there is a vehicle that has some type of voltage leak whenever it's not turned on that will cause the battery to go dead. So until I can diagnose what's going on, I just needed a way to keep the power from flowing from the battery. And yeah, you can disconnect the ground cable in order to do that, but that also means having to carry around tools. I needed a simpler way to do that, so I got this battery switch. Now, it comes in very plain packaging. There is no brand or anything on here. I mean, to even show how generic it is, this is a paperwork that comes in it. And if you look at the bottom of that paperwork, you can see where it says, place your text here. So yeah, this looks to be a generic white label product that is ready for someone else to put their branding all over it. As far as what the actual switch looks like itself, this is it. So it's a pretty generic switch. Uh, looking at it, you can see how it works. One part will connect to the ground. You've got this switch right here, which goes in there pretty firmly. Uh, and of course, if you have it open, then now you have the battery disconnected. Close it back. And now battery, power can flow from the battery. Uh, you can see there's a nut, a nut and a bolt on it. Uh, as far as the size of these go, uh, that's either a 9 16th if you're using American units or 14 millimeter if you're using metric. Now, for the car in question, I did have to get a new battery for it because after the battery gets drained too much and so far, uh, then that can end up killing the battery, and that's what ended up happening. So now, now I am about to uh, get this attached so I can go out and install this back in the vehicle. Installing it is pretty simple. Now, of course, uh, if you were doing this, you'd have to go ahead and disconnect the ground on your car from the battery. Uh, I haven't installed this battery yet. Uh, so I can just go ahead, place this on here, rotate it until I find an angle that I am happy with. So for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to leave it at that angle. I'm using a 14 millimeter uh, wrench here. There's a 14 millimeter socket. Let's get this adjusted for tightening. And that's it. Okay, that's on there pretty tight. So now the only thing I need to do is take it out to the car and install it. Now, I've got the car at another address. I'm going to go out to it in a little bit and get this battery put in place. Okay, so I've set the battery in place. And so you can see here it is within the car. So first thing I notice is that at the angle I have this switch uh, attached at. Uh, that's not going to work for this battery. So I need to get this rotated around and then we'll get the terminals connected. So I already have my 14 millimeter and my... Um, 14 millimeter or 9 16 here. Uh, so let's get this loosened so that I can rotate it. Okay, that's loose enough. So now I can rotate this, get this attached over here. And now let's get it all tightened back. I should probably should have used a shorter socket, but hey, this is gonna work. Okay, so that part's done. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is let's go ahead and turn this off. Okay, can remove the cover from the positive post. And now let's get this attached. Okay, so it takes care of getting both the posts in place. I still need to tighten them. So let me go get a socket so that I can take care of that. Yep, tin fits. Turn this a bit, get this on here. Okay, it's on there tight. Okay, now I'm gonna put my, I'm gonna put my sockets in a safe place instead of having them sitting on top of the engine. Get things started up and see what happens. Okay, so that worked. So if I ever need to disconnect this, if I'm gonna be disconnecting this before I leave, all I have to do now is flip that switch instead of disconnecting the battery. Because otherwise you need to have tools to disconnect the battery. Uh, there's still a few other things I need to do. The battery is not tied down, so I need to get some type of tie down post put on this. Uh, but this puts it in a much better place. 
and until I figure out what in the world is causing the battery to drain, I can keep it like this. Let's go ahead and get this closed up. And get these tools put away. Good. Okay, so everything worked. Okay, so let's lock it via the key. So all the doors are locked. And now what I need to do before I go is flip the switch. Okay, and so now that's out of the way. The battery is disconnected and so it shouldn't be draining. So in the meantime, now I can go ahead and take care of getting some battery tie downs. Uh, something to be aware of is if you use this, uh, make sure you don't leave this in a position where it could come in contact with the hood because uh, most of the body of the car is connected to ground and so that could end up giving your battery a pathway to the rest of the car. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get this thing closed down here and the battery's turned off so I'm not as worried about it draining now.